Hello guys, this is Jagan from Capital Zone. Most of the people will do the speculation in trading world. Option strategies are very very less. But over a period of time, once they have experience with speculation, what is speculation? Going long in future or going short in futures, they will slowly get converted into option strategies. How? They will try to sell a call. Going long and sell a call and going short and selling a put. It's called covered call or covered put. Then uh, they will feel that actually risk and reward is not so good with the covered call or covered put. They will do a caller strategy. So what is the caller strategy that we will discuss later. But the topic here we are going to discuss is, is it really worse to do a caller strategy or not? Is there any alternate options? That's what we are going to discuss today. Before we get into the topic, first we need to understand what is covered call. Very simple. Right now, Nifty is at 15,000. So you want to go long. So you are going long in Nifty futures at 15,000. And you are selling a call, little bit OTM. Let's assume that you are selling 15,3 call at 200 rupees. That's very simple covered call. Either you are selling in current month or next month, it does not matter. So what is the advantage of this covered call? If the market is going in sideways, you are going to make a profit of this 200 rupees. If the market is going little bit up, say for example, up to 15.3, you are going to make 200 rupees profit. If market is coming down, still you are going to make a profit of 200 rupees. This is the advantage of covered call. The biggest advantage is actually if market goes sideways, you are going to enjoy the time decay benefit. Whereas with the direct speculation, market goes sideways, you are not going to make any profit at all. Correct, right? And the margin you are going to pay for this covered call is very less because SEBI has introduced the new margin system because it's a hedged position. So the margin is less. One of the main reason why all these people are going for covered call is because the drawdown with normal speculation is very high. They want to control the drawdown. They can't do adjustments with the current speculations and that is the reason why they are doing this covered call strategy. Now you will ask a question. Jagan, what is the difference between covered call and big buy covered call? Covered call, you are doing a speculation and selling a call. And you are not going to be long in all the time. You will be long, sometimes you will be short, sometimes you will not have any trade at all. But with big boy code call, you are long in cash market, you are trying to sell a call. You would like to know what is big boy code call? There is a separate video wherein I have explained uh, the, the strategy in detail with the adjustments. You can check in the description. Now, with the, this covered call, normal covered call, that, that is mainly for speculation. In long run, you will not make profit. Why? Because with the covered call, the profit is limited. So for example, you went long in 15,000, market is going to 16,000, your profit is arrested up to 15,3 plus the premium you received. So maybe 500 rupees, but the loss is unlimited. This is the biggest loophole in covered call. Correct? And the risk and reward is not matching. If market goes sideways, it's fine. But market goes in your favor, then you are going to make limited profit. At least with the Nifty, it is okay. But if you're taking stocks, it can move 30%, 40%. And it can move down 30%, 40%. You're selling a call 5% above, then you're going to make 5 to 6% if you're right. If you're wrong, you're going to make 30%, 40% loss. So that is the reason why people don't choose covered call or covered put for long run. Now, okay, you have this one. So how do we fix? So to fix this one, they have introduced the strategies called call, caller. What is caller? It's a covered call only. You have a future long. So for example, 15,000 uh, you are long in Nifty futures. You are selling 15,3 call. So for example, 200 rupees. And you are buying one more put. That is at 14,7. So for example, 250 rupees you are buying. So thus, by buying this put, your loss is arrested because you bought a put. Now, it's, it's, say for example, the profit is also limited, the loss is also limited. 
So the risk and reward is going to be same. Correct? So somehow we are fixing the problems of the covered call in caller. This strategy is called caller. What? Say for example, you are going future long and selling a call and buying a put to arrest the unlimited loss. Now, let's come to the caller strategy right now. What is the merits and demerits? Merit, as I said, actually, and risk and reward is almost equal. So you don't need to worry about the unlimited loss at all. Profit and loss is limited. But what are the demerits? Number one, you are not enjoying your time decay. Why? Because you sold a call and you are buying a put. Whatever the time decay benefit you are getting by selling a call, you will lose the same thing with buying a put. So there is no uh, benefit of time decay. It is almost like a speculation. But your profit and loss is limited. With the normal future long, your profit is unlimited, loss is unlimited. With the caller, your profit is limited and the loss is also limited. But the risk and reward is going to be same with uh, the normal speculation with the caller. So this is the difference between normal speculation and caller. Number two issue, since you are doing with the futures, the operational cost is very high. STT, time duty, and blah, 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 right? And your turnover is also very high. What is that? There is a separate video I have explained. What is the different difference between trading in futures and option? What are the problems you will face? In fact, actually you will face some tax issues as well. Say for example, if you're playing with the futures, then your turnover is really high. If the turnover is more than two crores right now, then you will end up doing tax auditing. So how do we resolve all this issue? So how do we fix the caller? Let's go to the next strategies. Let's have a caller. What is the caller we have? We have future long, nifty future long at 15 and we have sold 15.3 call at 200 and we have bought 14.7 put at 250. So this is a caller, we are going to fix it. Now, in order to replace this futures, I am going to replace with synthetic future. How do we replace with the synthetic one? There is a separate video wherein I have explained what is synthetic futures. It is nothing but you are going to take a trade in options, but the payoff of option is going to be same as the future. How? Very simple logic. In case one, you are doing a nifty future long. In case two, you are going to buy a call and sell a put the same strike price. This is called synthetic future. You mean to, I mean to say that actually the synthetic options are which is equivalent to the futures. Okay. So how? So here future long at 15. But here what you are going to do? Buy 15,000 call and sell 15,000 put. This is called synthetic future. But this 15,000 strike price, you can choose any strike price, the payoff will not change. You can choose 14,000, you can choose 14,500, you can choose 20,000, you can choose 10,000. But I am going to choose 14,7. Why? I will tell you later. So the future, I am going to replace with 14,7 synthetic future. How? 14,7 call option, I am going to buy and 14,7 put option, I am going to sell. Let me repeat, 14.7 call I buy, 14.7 put I sell. What will happen right now? As part of caller, I already bought 14.7 put. Right now what I do? I am selling 14.7 put as part of synthetic features. So both will get compensated. We don't need to do anything in 14.7 put at all. No operation is needed because as part of caller, we are going to buy 14.7 put. As part of synthetic futures, we are going to sell 14.7 put. So net to net, actually, we don't need to do any operation in 14.7. So the simple one we are going to do here is 14.7 call we are going to buy. That's it. And obviously, we will have 15.3 call sell. So if you replace the caller with the synthetic future, it is a simply two legs. It is not four legs. What are they? 14.7 call buy and 15.3 call sell. It's a normal bull call spread. The payoff of this bull call spread and the caller strategy 
exactly same it is not different it may look different it may look uh, weird but the payoff of the collar and bull call spread is going to be same now let's come to this bull call spread advantage and disadvantage merits and demerits advantage you are not playing with the feature thus your turnover is less and you are not paying uh, more operational cost since you are playing in the many options if you are playing with the nifty it is more liquid you don't need to worry at all so liquidity part you don't need to worry at all and keep in mind that the payoff of collar and the payoff of uh, bull call spread is going to be same you don't need to worry what are the demerits number one if you are doing with the stock the in the money options may not be liquid correct in such a cases you may go for a collar say for example you want to play with uh, hdfc live right so you want to do a, a collar strategy bull call spread then the in the money options will not be liquid you want to play with srf so it is not so liquid like reliance or state bank of india right so in illiquid stocks you can do the collar strategy number 2 you want to do a huge volume 1000 lots 2000 lots with nifty then the itm options will not have much liquidity if you are doing 10 lots 20 lots it's fine so liquidity is the only problem with the bull call spread because you are dealing with in the money options whereas with the collar you are dealing only with otm options so it is so liquid hello friends now you have a fair idea where you need to do a bull call spread where you need to do a collar strategy thanks for watching this video i'll be back with one more video soon